Whoa, awesome. All right, welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. In today's episode, we're gonna be upgrading the Nintendo GameCube to output HDMI. So why would you wanna actually output in, in HDMI? Well, for me, it's because I don't have any uh, monitors around the house that have easy access to the component cables or the composite cables in, in this case. It would behoove me to upgrade this thing to HDMI if I could. And of course you can you buy converters and things like that, uh, but they didn't have anything. A converter from composite to, to HD is just gonna look like shit. And uh, they sell, Nintendo created a cable that went out of this digital AV out uh, to, uh, to RGB and much higher quality, 480p, which is as good as this box will ever output. The problem was that cable was in short supply. They didn't sell a lot of them, and then at some point, they abandoned that plug because they they weren't selling many of them. And the majority of people that were using this thing at home were just plugging in the old school yellow plug for video, which is uh, composite. And so because they only made the that cable, the, the component cable for about a year, they're very hard to find. And because of that, and they're not making any new ones. Or at least they, they stopped making the new ones a long time ago. And so the price for those has gone way, way up. It's somewhere between two to $300, depending on the condition and the source. No way am I, is anyone gonna pay that kind of money un, unless you, you don't have the skills to do some of this yourself. And also when the, the Nintendo Wii came out and enabled folks to play their GameCube games in their the earlier versions of the Wii, where you, you just put the actual the smaller discs in there, and it would play them just fine, and it would play them at 480p. So so I, you know you think I want to play my my GameCube games on HDMI, just buy a Wii. They're like 20 bucks, uh, you know, yard sales all all day long or Goodwill. Go go grab one. But if you're nostalgic for this cube, that's not actually a cube. My five year old daughter pointed out, she's right. Uh, if you're nostalgic for the look of this thing and its little smiley faces that it has, then uh, you might find this video helpful. And so today we're going to crack this thing open and we're going to install a little FPGA board, which has HDMI out. All right, so stick around to the end of this video for a giveaway of one of the GameCubes. My five-year-old daughter makes an appearance to do some soldering and you get to see how we get on with the HDMI mod. See, here's some of the colors we have. Let's see, white, um, green, orange, purple. <gasps> yes. You want purple? Yeah. Okay, grab purple. Whoa, awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. Keep wanting to do it because it's awesome. <laughs> Let's load. Here, keep this down here. I'm going to load it up and put a little drop on there. There we go. Mm -hmm. I want you to try and melt both of those at the same time. There you go, just like that. You got it. Very nice. Were you melting them? Mm hmm. You're melting them. Melt them both. Got it. Let's see, we took it out. Is that cool? Cool. All right, now hang it up. Put it back in the holster. Very Wait, nice. we won't need it anymore? Yep, just leave it there. Remember, grab it like a pencil. Okay, remember, it's super hot, so anything you touch is going to melt. So go ahead and touch right where I'm touching. You going? You I'm going. melting yours. Done. You did it. Very nice. Alright, 
that on there. Looks very nice and tight. Nice and tight, and stock looking. Very nice. All right. Let's try it out. Okay. Hey, it works. Very nice. And look, look at your purple light. Do you see it right here? When you put it. Mm -hmm. Like nice. Yeah. Look at this. Sweet. Yes. All right. I hope you guys found some value in that. Adding, adding quite a bit of life uh, and, and longevity to a GameCube now that you can plug it into the HDMIs. We also tossed in a mod chip for the CD-ROM in this so that it can play different regions and also uh, backed up games because uh, Ellie here is new to the, uh, the idea of CD-ROMs and so she has to learn how to uh, treat them a little bit <laughs> a little bit more respect. Uh, so that, that could be a while. So having the ability to, to back up your games is, is beneficial. And if you want to, you can get this controller. If you guys uh, saw the earlier video, I'm doing a giveaway. He'll be right back. Yep. We're actually we're going to be giving away this black GameCube that we reconditioned in a previous episode. So, all right, if you guys want to have a chance to win this exact GameCube, this black one here, uh, comment down below with the words yes, please, and your favorite GameCube game. I'll pick somebody at random and send it out. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough, over and out, over and out.